Hello everyone. So last year I made, I think last year, last year I think yeah, it was definitely last year. I made one video on, uh, maybe one video, maybe couple of videos on plant UML. Now I use org mode uh, heavily for creating documents and uh, usually if you are creating a document like uh, i'll give you a couple of examples maybe if you're creating a proposal maybe if you're creating training content maybe if you are writing books maybe you are writing a technical book so you would need to create some diagrams and uh, to be honest i don't like using uh, you know ui based tools to make diagrams although you know there is nothing wrong with it but it slows you down and last year i started playing with uh, plant uml and good thing about plant uml is that you can uh, use uh, of course org mode so org mode it comes with the uh, plant uml mode you can i believe install it from the melpa and uh, and you can always uh, i mean if you don't really want to install from the melpa you can also just uh, download i mean you anyways have to download the jar file from uh, uh, the plant uml website and uh, just mention it in your init file somewhere uh, i mean you will find the details here by the way so i'm not really going to talk about it but what i wanted to talk about today is uh, my experience l since last year so it has been uh, more than a year now and uh, plant uml has been working great for me i love it it is great and to be honest if you go to the plant uml website you will get confused because there are so many things that you can do and i will talk about uh, what kind of uh, diagrams i have been making so let me start by going on this link on top called sequence and if you look here uh, sequence is basically as the name suggests it will uh, show it will let you create some diagrams to uh, create some sequence i mean it's very obvious and uh, usually when when, you, when there is a sequ sequence you are basically interacting or basically s talking about how do how to how two or three or multiple people or users actors are uh, interacting with with each other so for me i don't use it i don't really use uh, i mean i use it but not really a lot usually when i create uh, i think if you follow my ravi sagar channel i i think i've made couple of uh, videos on uh, jira where i talked about uh, what you can do as a i mean if you're trying to learn jira then you need to figure out your role what you would be doing and i think i used it uh, for a couple of my diagrams but not really that much so this is something that you can uh, take a look at but this is there for you uh, the next one is a use case let me talk about so the use case is something that i use a lot uh, and yes, I think I was talking about the use case because here, so a sequence is of course a sequence, but sometimes you have to explain uh, different roles. For example, if you have a user, if you have a project manager, if you have a scrum master, then what would be they what would be they they doing? So I use sequence quite a lot, and you can actually use uh, these. Uh, so basically, what you can do, you can club. Or you can basically uh, create these rectangles i don't really use l a lot of it but i use like basic sequence uh, or use case diagrams the next one is class i don't really i don't i don't use it for me for my use case uh, it's not really useful the 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 fourth item is activity and to be honest i use the activity which is uh, you know the new beta version this is wonderful this is lovely because i use uh, this quite a lot especially uh, when you have to because in jira you create a workflow and workflow is basically a state diagram although there is a state here uh, which you can basically use to create a state diagram which is probably more suitable and i use it uh, but sometimes or no, i should say not sometimes but quite often i have to uh, for me state diagram is great but i need to al also create uh, swim lanes and uh, i also need to create these swim lanes and the flow uh, and let me show you one diagram which I use a lot, like something like this. So if you look at this particular diagram, here you are talking about different roles and what each role would do. So basically, I mean, in Jira's terminology, uh, someone would create a new story, then someone will, would probably work on it, someone will probably do the estimation, someone will probably test it, and so on. So sometimes when I'm working with, you know, when, when I'm trying to create a flow or a process diagram, um, I use this heavily and good thing about this is that you can also add notes so let me show you if you edit this and good thing about plant uml is that you can always uh, uh, 
um, use uh, their online editor and uh, you can actually uh, add uh, for example in this case uh, let us say you have this action let us talk about this foo one so foo one is one of the state in a way and uh, you can also add something like note and uh, left and end note and then you can say here uh, this is a note and this will appear as a note on uh, your diagram this is lovely and you can also create a floating note so it will be just a flo floating note without that pointing arrow and whenever you're creating these notes these notes are useful I'm amazing i mean they are great right because you can also create these notes with uh, like a header and uh, some kind of bullet points so like bullet one bullet two and so on so this actually looks really good and uh, when you do this you don't have to worry about the formatting this is uh, and uh, this is my end uh, note so you can actually uh, create these notes and uh, how do we create uh, the italics yep like this this is great right i mean i quite love this and uh, you can actually uh, i mean i don't really use like too much formatting for me it's just very basic and uh, i mostly i care about uh, like simple bullets and uh, i care about uh, like because sometimes when you're trying to explain something to someone you need of course uh, these uh, notes you need swim lens and you can color these swim lens uh, for example maybe your first swim lens color is uh, uh, yellow so you can do that and uh, you can also create some kind of a decision tree uh, here so this is amazing and I, I quite love this and I, I i use this all the time and good thing is that everything is a text right so everything is a text file and uh, you can actually when you create these diagrams uml diagrams uh, state uh, or activity diagrams you can actually elaborate or you can explain uh, your understanding of the process and because I, I work with my clients where I have to work because I don't really just do Jira admin work. I mean, to be honest, I, I hardly do, do Jira admin work. I basically work with my clients to uh, suggest a process. And from my experience, if you keep on talking, then people don't really get it. You have to basically do something for them. For example, uh, before I create workflow in Jira, I basically create uh, like a state diagram using this. And... Uh, they can see okay who has to take action so the first um, row could be for uh, my uh, I mean the, the first row could be for the BS like business analysts would uh, would 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 create a new story in the backlog and so on so you can actually use this to uh, not only write down your understanding but the moment you start writing down you're actually in a way making the first version of your process then you can send it to someone they will approve it and then of course you can modify it you can also version control it because it is nothing but a text file and uh, you can also export it to an svg because svg is uh, something that will uh, because it's like a vector you can zoom in and when you, when you export it to svg you can always resize it and you know wonderful things that you can do with this so this is all that i wanted to talk about today i mean uh, if you are using org mode all this in this video i'm not really talking about org mode i'm just talking about plant uml but great thing is that the code that you have here just copy this code and paste it in your org file of course use plant uml as the source block and, and when you export it to psvg you can actually specify the file name where it will create the SVG for you and you can use it, right? So this is great. This is wonderful and I love this. And I thought I'll probably share it with everyone because uh, I'm sure you can do... I, I know it looks boring, but it is not. End of the day, you have to solve a problem. And these days, unfortunately, people are always uh, looking for like something which is a bit more fancy, UI-based. And that actually slows not only you down, so if I use, uh, for example, if you're using PowerPoint, if you're using PowerPoint to create uh, training material, and if you're also using uh, 
uh, some UI based editors, like let us say Word, to write a document. And if you're collaborating with others, you're also asking them to use the same tools. And you can't really version control it, right? I mean, you can actually do tracking in, in Word file, but if you have if you have ever written like a proper document, like I have written books in in Word, it is too painful because you are always worried about uh, the formatting. But ideally, you should be focused on the content or the the text, and that is what you are also doing here. I know it is not super super user friendly, but uh, you can learn, right? I mean, if you spend some time learning it, you will not only um, I mean, of course, it will take some, there is a learning curve. And whenever there is a learning curve, uh, you can expect, usually it is the case when you try when you try to learn something which is a bit difficult or it may seem difficult, there is a learning curve, but you are actually solving problem for life. So that is what I believe you should try to do. Don't try to save time. Don't try to solve your immediate problem. Try to solve a problem that you may encounter uh, after two years, two months. And uh, using these tools, using these utilities, like plant UML within org mode, will make you super efficient. All right, that is it. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.